In normal conditions, the temperature of the air decreases with altitude. We call this the temperature lapse rate. We can even use this lapse rate to estimate the altitude the clouds are forming at by finding which altitude the temperature will drop to the dew point. The air in the atmosphere is mostly heated by the Earth's surface. The sun's rays beam down and heat the Earth, and the Earth then radiates that heat back into the atmosphere, heating the air closest to the Earth. This leads to the normal condition of the warmest air near the surface, less warm air as you go up, and the coolest air in the upper atmosphere. In a temperature inversion, the air mass at higher altitudes is actually a higher temperature than the air at lower altitudes. In other words, the temperature is flipped and cooler air is near the surface and warmer air up higher. Temperature inversions are most frequently caused by rapid radiation cooling of the surface and air near the surface. On cold, clear nights with little wind and clouds, the surface radiates heat quickly into the atmosphere. With no clouds to hold that heat close to the surface and no wind to blow it away horizontally, the warm air rises. This accelerates the cooling of the surface and the air near the surface and causes a shallow layer of cool air with warm air above it. With wind or stable, unstable conditions, the warm air is dispersed horizontally and vertically and mixed into the cooler air causing normal temperature lapse conditions to remain. Other causes of a temperature inversion could be ahead of a warm front when warm air meets cold air and flows up and over the cold air mass. If you want to learn about this, you can watch our video on weather systems and fronts. During a temperature inversion, a pilot should expect an increase in temperature as the altitude increases. They should also expect stable air or non-rising air because these are conditions necessary for inversions to occur. Visibility is usually poor in an inversion, however, because the, air, the warm air layer traps things such as water vapor, dust, smoke, and other particulates, which reduce the visibility. Therefore, when there is a temperature inversion with high relative humid, humidity, a pilot should expect fog, haze, or clouds affecting their visibility, but smooth and stable conditions otherwise.